New at 11, Sacramento police just released several videos and 911 calls after they shot and killed a man with a knife on the regional transit earlier this month. Take a listen to the 911 call. And there's a guy with a machete type of knife. Okay. As long as my arm. Is he threatening people with it? I don't know because I jumped off the train. Everybody took off this train. This video shows the passengers exiting the train back on August 15th after police say the 44-year-old suspect displayed the knife at least once. Officers tried talking to the suspect. Can you just put your hands on your head for me, please? Listen, we want everything and everyone to go home safe. But he replies that he's afraid and does not follow multiple commands. What's your name? No one's gonna hurt you, man. Please, 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 sir. Please, sir. I'm not gonna do your job, but I'm scared of y'all right now. Okay, do not grab the knife. He becomes more agitated and starts screaming for help while displaying the knife. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're here to help. A warning, the next portion of this video is disturbing. Officers decided to use the less lethal beanbag gun when he stands up. When that doesn't work, the suspect runs toward the officers with the knife and police open fire. Even after being shot multiple times, he stands back up with the knife still in his hand and officers fire again multiple times. It was excessive. It just, to me, as the law is written, it violates the law. Area defense attorney Mark Reichel says officers had a duty to de-escalate the situation. He's on an enclosed area that can be locked up. You lock the doors, you step back. He's not going anywhere. It's the equivalent to a jail cell. He's now in a jail cell. You know, I would have de-escalated it in that way, got the other passengers off, locked it up, and repositioned, used other resources, used time. Time is on your side here. Number one, we value the sanctity of human life, okay, paramount. And number two, only when it's an instantaneous need because of the threat of death or bodily injury, can an officer use deadly force? It is important to note that while body-worn cameras provide one perspective of police interactions, the camera's view is limited and may not show everything the officers perceived during the incident. I spoke to Sacramento Police late tonight, and they say this incident is being investigated by the Sacramento Police Department's Homicide Unit, Internal Affairs Division, and Professional Standards Unit. The Office of Public Safety Accountability and the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office are providing oversight by monitoring the investigation. All the information is going to be made public, they tell me, and it will be available for anyone to review the thoroughness of the investigation and the findings.